Welcome back to Math Mini Lessons. My name is Sarah and we're going to jump right into today's lesson which is on division. And in elementary school you had a remainder a lot of times but now you're in sixth grade we're going to divide to the thousands. Here's our criteria for success so that you can be successful. You're going to demonstrate that you know how to use long division and that you can do it accurately and consistently and that you're using solve to break down word problems and finally using your previous knowledge in order to do these multi-step problems. With that said, let's jump into today's model. In our last lesson, we reviewed just the steps for division, but we're in middle school and I want to take it one step further because now in middle school, you're not going to have remainders that just get left as R and we're going to move beyond doing fractions at some point. So today we're going to practice having remainders to the nearest hundreds place. And that's going to require a few things. So one, you're going to see me, at, if I see there's a remainder, you're going to see me add a decimal and three zeros. So if there's not a decimal there, we're going to add one and add three zeros. If there is a decimal there, we're going to have enough digits that go to the thousands. So three zeros to the thousands. And then my advice is just keep dividing and give yourself space and time to work. It can be very anxiety building to see so many numbers and so much happening on the page. Math Marvels, just take it one piece at a time. There's a saying, the best way to eat an elephant is just one bite at a time. Just take it piece by piece and you will get through this. You will learn this and it'll take practice, but it will become easier. And finally, after we divide to the thousands and we have three numbers all the way to the thousands in our quotient, you're going to see how we round to the nearest hundreds using a little, a little rhyme. So I'm going to use this problem to just model it out two divided by seven and you might be thinking what you can't do two divided by seven that's not enough well you're in middle school now we can do that like if i had two pizzas i can share that with seven friends so we can absolutely divide two by seven let's put that into our long division form if i try to divide i know that i can't do two divided by seven i would have a zero and i can't just stop and say boom done nope so we're going to add a decimal and we're going to pop one on the top and we're, you're going to add three zeros okay and now we're going to do our division work as we normally would so you're thinking of although there's a decimal here don't don't look at it for a second imagine this is just 20. so how many can you do can we do 20 divided by seven yep two times 20 divided by seven is two Two times seven is 14. Subtract. And we're gonna bring down the next number. And again, even though your eye might be looking at all this, just look at this little piece right here. This is the part you're looking at for dividing. So 60 divided by seven is eight. And that gives us 56. So now I have four, bring down the next zero. And 40 divided by seven is five, and that's gonna give us 35. And even though I'm kind of running out of space, whoops, I wrote too big, um, I could stop there because I've gotten to the thousands place. I'm looking here, I have 285,000. So now we're gonna do our rounding. And if we're gonna think of the rhyme, zero to four, you round down to the floor. If it's more than five, round it up to the sky. So you're gonna look at this number here and you're gonna think is if, if I see anything from zero to four, this goes away and it just stays 28 hundredths. Um, but if it's a five or more, then this number will go up to a nine. So in this case, I got a five. So that means I'm going to round it to 29 hundredths. All right, so hit pause so you can jot this down in your notes. And if you need to, you could always re-listen to it on how I rounded and how I worked through this problem. Let's jump into our model. Oh, this school's pretty lucky. And our model at elementary school received a thousand dollar donation, which is amazing. And the school has four kindergarten classes and three classes each in first through sixth grade. So that's an important part of the three classes each. Can the money be divided equally among the classes? Explain. 
All right, so um, what are they asking? Can $1,000 be shared evenly? In other words, with no remainder. Here are facts. There's $1,000 to share. And I know that there are 22 classes. You might be thinking, Sarah, how? I have four kindergartens and three classes in first through sixth grade. But there's a meaty part in there. There's four kindergarten classes, but there's three first grades, three second, three third, and on and on and on. So if you add all those numbers up, you actually get 22 classes all together. All right, so here's our plan. We're going to divide 1,000 by 22 and see if there is a remainder. Okay, so here's our plan. We're going to divide 1,000 by 22. So remember, this makes it whoo, makes a thousand fall inside the house. Okay, and you can see I wrote my 22 times tables here on the side to help me out, just in case I have to do some quick addition, uh, because I don't know my 22 tables by heart. I can do guessing, but at least we have it here. And remember, for every digit in here, we want to have a digit matching up top. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, 1 divided by 22 is 0. 10 divided by 22 is zero and now I have a hundred divided by 22 so I can look at my list how many 22s go into a hundred without going over one two three four I can't do five because that will go over so let's put four here and four times 22 is 88 I can subtract and I get 12 so let's bring down the zero and how many 22s go into 120? I'll look at my list again. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do six, so five. And that's 110. And I have 10 left over. We're in middle school right now, so we're gonna add a decimal. And decimal up top. Remember what I said, we're gonna put three zeros because we're gonna go to the nearest thousands. Now I can keep on dividing. So I'm going to add another zero. How many 22s go into 100? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 88. We did that before. 12. Bring down to zero. 120. 120 divided by 22. We did that already too. That was 5. So that's 110. At 10 remaining, let's bring down another zero. I can go in there four more times. And I'm gonna stop there because we've gone to the nearest thousands. So we have 45, 45. Okay, so now this is where we're gonna do our rounding. Remember, we look at that digit in the thousands place and we're gonna do zero to four, we round down. So there's a four here, so we're going to round down to 45, 45. So let's, let's write our complete answer. So we have it each class. Gets $45.45. But there is a small remainder. So no, 1,000 cannot be evenly distributed. Okay, and how did I know there was a small remainder? Look how it just kept going. Like if I was still going, going, I was still going to have another 12. And I'm breaking into more and more smaller, smaller pieces. So there's no way that I can evenly divide 1,000 by 22. Because I still have smaller and smaller pieces. And it's going to keep on going forever and ever. I'm going to keep on getting the 88 and then the 110, the 88, 110. So I'm just going to keep breaking into smaller and smaller pieces forever and ever. So we're going to stop there, Math Marbles, but now you know how you can divide to the nearest hundreds place. See you in the next lesson.